What's up y'all, Alvin here, and that's not a clickbait title. I really haven't caught a trout on a strike indicator nymph rig in more than a decade. You might want to join me, and I'm going to tell you why. I tell the good jokes. <laughs> Okay, so before you roast me in the comments, I'm going to just go ahead and say it. There are certain situations, times, places where the strike indicator nymph rig is really probably the only way to catch trout. So midwinter when the fish are hunkered down really deep, the big tailwaters where they're eating tiny nymphs on the bottom. So those types of situations, you may have to do strike indicator nymph fishing, but that's not the kind of fishing that I like to do. So I don't fish those places or those times a year. So that doesn't really apply to me. <laughs> now, the thing is, is I haven't always uh, been anti strike indicator fishing. As a matter of fact, I was sort of an early adopter. Uh, you know, I fished with a strike indicator and a nymph for probably 20 years. I picked it up before a lot of my friends were willing to try it. And I remember the debate in the fly fishing world about whether or not it was an ethical way to catch fish. And at the time I, and, and I still do think it is an ethical way to catch fish. It's just not the way I want to catch fish. So what changed? Uh, I'm not really sure exactly when it happened, but after about five or six years of guiding for trout in Colorado, it got to the point to where the strike indicator nymph rig was pretty much my last resort. And after a while, I realized that most days we were able to catch fish on a dry or a dry dropper rig. <laughs> I mean, it got to the point to where me and my buddy, Dan Houck, uh, Instagram was starting to be a thing then. Dan and I had a hashtag we used that was hashtag they'll always eat a dry. <laughs> and the thing was most days they would. And I know for the last three seasons that I was a guide for trout, I only used either a dry fly, double dry fly, or a dry fly dropper rig. And my clients caught fish most days as many a lot of days more fish than the guys that were using strike indicator nymph rigs. But you got to remember, I was only guiding during the summers, so it was definitely prime time for dry fly fishing. Um, I would remember hearing the other guides, um, you know, at the shop and on the river and stuff, talking about how they got sick of the tangles, you know, you got two nymphs, split shot, strike indicator, and especially with total beginners, it's just a constant re-rigging, re-rigging, re-rigging all day. And I would suggest like, hey, you know, why don't you try dry, dry droppers, a lot simpler, a lot less tangles. And almost always the response was, well, my clients don't know how to fish and they can catch fish with the strike indicator nymph rig. And my response to that was, well, that's true. They are catching fish, but at the end of the day, they still don't know how to fish. <laughs> I mean, it, it is more work to take a total beginner and try to teach them how to cast and then how to mend and how to fish with a dry fly or a dry fly dropper rig. But, you know, it, it just seemed kind of lazy to me because at the end of the day, you know, the guide is there to teach the client. And if you don't teach them how to do anything other than lob the bobber out there and mend, I really feel like you're doing your clients a disservice, especially if the fish are eating dries. It's just more exciting. You, you, I don't think anybody would say watching a bobber all day and catching 10 fish is more exciting than catching six fish and actually watching them come up and eat the dry fly. The, the other thing was, I, I didn't, I still don't and didn't at the time really enjoy 
nymphing as much as I did fishing with the dry or dry dropper rig. And I just thought that my clients would probably enjoy it more as well. Now, <laughs> you're probably saying, well, man, I guess Alvin just really doesn't like catching a lot of fish. And that's, that's not true. The thing is, is I like catching them the way I like catching them. And most days I catch, you know, as many fish as I want to catch. And like I said, a lot of times more than the folks who are fishing with the strike indicator nymph rig. And, and really at the end of the day, if it's all about catching fish, you know, you're going to be much more effective with a live worm. <laughs> so, you know, why are we fly fishing in the first place? Because we like the art of fly fishing or maybe we like the challenge or whatever it is. And for me personally, I like the challenge of getting the trout to come up to the surface or near the surface. And I like the visual aspect of it. And for me, it's just the most exciting way to do it. And I feel in a lot of ways, I have become a better angler because of my desire to catch fish on dries or on dry dropper. You know, I can still throw a nymph out there and if you can mend and get a good drift with a dry fly or a dry dropper, I guarantee you, you can mend and get a good drift with a strike indicator if you have to resort to that. All right, so end of the rant for today. Hopefully you like that. If you think I'm full of crap, please, uh, you know, put a comment down there. Let me know what you're thinking. If you like this kind of stuff, give the video a thumbs up, maybe subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you're a bass angler or you're thinking about becoming a bass angler, I've got a link to my bass on the fly workshop I did a while ago. I'm going to actually be adding more information to that so you can buy it now and, you know, continue to watch it into the future as I upgrade it. If you want to help me out, you can also sign up to my email list. Link is also in the description. I've had a few people ask me about merch. Uh, you can buy my hat. You can buy the All Water Guides hat. Um, I'll leave a link down there as well. And thanks for everything. Thanks for watching the videos. Thanks for the comments. Uh, thanks for the support over the years. If I can do anything to make your life, especially your life in fly fishing <laughs> better, just let me know. Send me a comment, send me an email. As always, I wanna thank you again for watching the video. Hopefully I will see you in the next one. And in the meantime, good luck on the water.